So one of the things that happened when we imported that information into Excel is we actually built what was known as a connection. Now that connection, what that does is suddenly that allows us to know where we got our data from. We got it from a file, this guy right here. Well, what happens if it changes? Well, right now, if I come in here and I say, uh, let's change that low to say 84, and I save that file, save, nothing happens here. Well, that isn't great, uh, obviously, because I would prefer that data that I've linked up with kind of works. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to take a look at these properties, for example. These properties actually give me some options. I can actually see suddenly, you know, uh, things like prompt the file for, uh, prompt for the file name on a refresh or refresh it every few minutes. I could actually just, whenever I feel like it, change it so that it refreshes on a minute by minute basis or refresh the data when I open the file. All these different things will allow me to work from there. I'm going to hit cancel for right now because I also want to take a look at my connections section. This connections option allows me to see all the possible connections that I currently have with my workbook with Excel. Right now I only have that CC or CH history, but I can change that as I want. I can maybe give it a better name, say for example, the Shalandoni Fund history, fund history, there we go, fund history. And I'm going to go ahead and say, well, let's remove that prompt. I just want this, you know, I don't want to have to ask any questions. People don't like it when you throw yes, no questions at them when they're on the computer. Uh, they almost always click yes, and that's how we get viruses. So we'll just get rid of that prompt. And I'm just going to say to refresh it anytime my data is opened. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to close. Oh, notice that, 84. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make one more change. I'm going to bring this back to 44. I'll make it 45. Why not? We'll, we'll keep changing it up around here. But I've saved it. File, save. I'm going to close it. And when I open up our workbook, Notice that number changed. So suddenly I'm able to actually change data somewhere else and Excel's gonna kinda put it in the same place. Very nice.